All right, guys, welcome to problem five from the fundamentals of chapter six. All right, this problem we are identifying the zero force members in the truss. Okay, so let's see. If so, let's let's go around. At E, there's too much stuff that I don't really know what's going on. At A, think back to problem six. Two, I think that I did. Maybe there's zero force members here. B, again, there's a lot of stuff going on here. And C, C should raise some flags right away. So if we look at C, okay, I have force DC going this way, okay, and I have force uh, BC going this way, okay. And here's my y-axis. Okay, so I know that if I were to say forces in the y, okay, it would yield BC equals zero. Okay, so if you did, if you ended up doing the, let's see, this is two, this is so it's a three, four, five triangle. So you know, do th so. Th Three fifths BC equals zero, so BC equals zero. Okay, and then that means that the only force in the X would be DC, and that would also have to be equal to zero. Okay, so right away I can see. All right, I have two zero force members there. Okay, so I'm gonna label them like this: zero force member, zero force member. Let's put a dash through it looks better okay now what happens if I look at D so joint joint D okay so I have this force of three kilonewtons okay I have nothing to the right side because DC was zero and I have ED over here and db over here okay so again if you do the forces in the x we're going to find that ed is in fact a zero force member okay so that's a zero force member all right so let's see let's keep going um let's see if we look at b let's look at a okay let's look at a all right so remember there is a roller over here at a so i know that the roller usually has one reaction force going away or normal to the page so ax right so then if I look at joint A, I have, let's draw AX, let's draw AX going this way, all right, and then we have, let's draw AB going away in tension, and then we have AE, AE going up. Okay, so what happens here when you sum for the forces in the y direction? Again, we get AE is the only force going in the y direction, and it's equal to zero. All right, so there's another zero force member there. Okay, now let's see. Okay, that one, zero force, zero force. And I think that's it. The other, if so, the other way you can do this is finding the reactions at E and A. Okay, and then that will determine that will determine if um, you know if you have stuff going on at E. Uh, to, if you wanted to find for EB, which I'm not going to do. 
because I, th I think I found them all here, but, you know, if I wanted to actually do the mathematical calculations, we might end up finding something else out. Okay, and I'll let you guys do that part. Alright guys, take it easy.